Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Lei Hua, your favorite data science YouTuber. And uh, in a few days, I'm going to celebrate my 10 month anniversary of working at uh, Walmart Global Tech. That's why, you know, I want to uh, make, uh, make a new video to celebrate the special day. And uh, also, that's why I wear my, like, uh, you know, uh, uniform, you know, my Walmart hat and also my, you know, my, my like, uh, you know, jacket here <laughs> in today's video i want to cover three parts you know the first one is why i was not so active in for the past few months and uh, second of all uh, what my team a uh, dance at uh, walmart and also the third one is what my role as a data science data scientist slash statistician uh, uh, uh you know uh, dance for for my for my for my team First of all, let's get started. So first one, why I wasn't so active. I know uh, I only uh, up, I only have like uh, uploaded like uh, three videos and uh, uh, it's not enough, you know, for uh, for a data science like channel. I know that. And uh, the main reason is because I was way too busy uh, for my day job. And uh, last quarter alone, I need to uh, deliver like three to four projects, you know, so it's a, a lot of work and uh, uh, I unfortunately I did not have a lot of like free time to do uh, uh, side projects unfortunately but uh, uh, there's no better alternative um, you know uh, but uh, this quarter things come down a little bit so I should have more time to uh, make uh, new videos and also if you follow me on LinkedIn or Medium, you know, you should, uh, I should be able to write more blog posts. So uh, stay tuned for all of my channels. Okay, the second part is uh, what my team does, right? So uh, my team is the central experimentation uh, platform team at uh, Walmart. And uh, we are responsible for running uh, all types of experiments for different like product teams across the entire organization. Uh, you know, given Walmart scale, you can imagine uh, the the need, the demand for online experimentation, right? So my team uh, is scaling up, and also we are helping all product teams to better understand their uh, you know features and to better understand help, uh, their their customers. And uh, if you are new to online experimentation, uh, basically it, it is a a b testing right it's uh, uh you know assign randomly assign some users to the uh, control group and randomly assign some users to the treatment group and uh, we uh we we run the experiments uh, experiments for for a while and uh, check the results later so if there is a lift positive lift that which means the treatment group is better than our, our control. So we decide to uh, roll out or release the new feature to the entire like a customer base. But uh, if you observe a negative lift, then you you will not release new feature to all users, right? Because it will hurt our users. So my team, uh, it's a, it's very tricky, you know, uh, for, a lot of, for a lot of new features, you just don't know. Uh, whether it will uh, uh, how it would uh, uh, affect uh, our users either positive or negatively right so you have to be very careful and uh, also the approach needs to be very scientific so let's so the most scientific way of uh, uh, checking the effect is to run experiments you know by uh, randomly assign users then you can uh, observe the difference if there's any you know between the treatment and control groups so uh, don't worry if this sounds new uh, to you and uh, uh, don't worry about it because i will um, create a new video on on the topic and explain the science behind it and all right let's move on to the third part what my role as uh, as a data scientist is so as a data scientist my there are several layers to my uh, to my role and uh, on the first layer I need to act as a like traditional statistician which means I need to evaluate different statistic methods uh, provide some uh, consultation 
to stakeholders and help them uh, better understand which statistical method is most appropriate for them. And uh, on the second layer, it's about uh, is to uh, evaluate and also introduce new uh, statistical methods new uh, methodological advancements in other fields such as uh, reinforcement learning, causal inference, and uh, machine learning. You know, how can we combine uh, all of this new field, uh, all of these new uh, disciplines with online experimentation and uh, to, uh, to help us run the experiment in a faster manner, in a more trustworthy manner, right? So. Uh, it's a um, yeah, it's a it's a challenging work. So on the third layer, my role is to uh, ensure the data quality, and uh, uh, by data quality, I need to I mean I need to look at the, the uh, assignment like process, the the user telemetry like perspective, you know, the the final like uh, sample size of different like. Uh, uh, variations and in to ensure that uh, there's no uh, bias introduced during the process but uh, the tricky part is we cannot do it manually because there are hundreds of uh, concurrent experiments and we cannot uh, to to check the data quality manually so there has to be a an, uh, special algorithm or there's uh, another automatic like mechanism to to check the uh, data quality. So uh, that's pretty much what I do uh, on a daily basis, and uh, hope you guys find it interesting. And uh, by the way, here's my ring. This is my PhD uh, uh, class ring, and uh, uh, please address me as Doctor Yi if if you uh, if you see me next time. <laughs> just kidding uh, alright so stay tuned for more videos and uh, uh, I will share more content on you know my learnings and also my like uh, uh, on like online experimentation see you bye bye okay